What is up, you freaky folks? My name is Nick, and welcome to my channel, where I cover all things horror. Whatever you're watching, I'm making videos about. And a very special welcome back to my 13 Nights of Halloween special. I hope you're all having a wonderful Halloween. I really appreciate you guys just letting me babble about movies that I love in these videos. And in this one, I want to talk about a movie that I know definitely has its love, but... I still think it's an underrated Halloween gem. Pumpkinhead is a supernatural revenge thriller about a man named Ed Harley who loses his son when a reckless douchebag runs him over with a dirt bike. Seeking vengeance, Harley visits a witch in the woods to conjure the deadly entity known as Pumpkinhead to go after the teens who wronged him. As the blood begins to spill, Ed learns revenge isn't always so sweet. I make it pretty clear I have a lot of love for 80s slashers, but this is one that I think even non-slasher fans could get into. It isn't just young people being slaughtered by a monster in the woods. It's actually a very emotionally charged revenge tale that evokes classic horror vibes. It's a fun spin on the typical slasher because the group of kids that are being hunted down are kind of the bad guys, but we also feel for them because most of them are just caught up in a scenario that's bigger than themselves. The nicest ones, the ones that try to help the most, get killed off first. It's really just this one asshole who runs over the kid and then runs away that ruins it for everyone else. That's the lesson of Pumpkinhead, guys. It only takes one asshole. But I really like the blurred line of morality this movie presents. There really aren't good or bad guys. There are just people. The young people go along with a hit and run, which isn't cool, but... Summoning demonic entities is also pretty not cool. You know, even Pumpkinhead isn't the bad guy. He's literally just doing his job. All he did was show up. Slicing, dicing, dropping people out of the sky. That's just what Pumpkinhead does. We rarely see characters painted in this light, bouncing between good and bad, and I'd like to see a whole lot more of that. Lance Henriksen does so much heavy lifting in this movie. I think it is one of the great underrated horror movie performances he might not be Tony Collette in Hereditary, but he grounds the entire movie. We don't know the backstory of Ed and his son, and we don't need to. He could have snatched this kid from a Walmart for all we know. But within five minutes, we are totally on board with this father-son team, because Henriksen uses all of the small moments to let us know as audience members that this kid is his entire life. And so when he loses his son, we're totally on board with him going out for revenge and conjuring up Pumpkinhead. But it's the things that he does after that that explore the complex layers of emotion within this character. Again, something I'd like to see more of. Stan Winston is best known for his incredible visual effects work. He followed up winning an Oscar for Aliens by directing Pumpkinhead. And I wish he got to direct more because I really appreciate the work that he did with the characters in this movie. I think it sets it apart from most slasher films and 80s horror. The kills might be weak, but I think the work done on Pumpkinhead is simply iconic. He might look a little hokey to today's kids, but I think Winston did a really good job in creating a unique and memorable creature and he did a good job of not showing him very much until the very end where he's looking like a straight up halloween mascot we need a lot more pumpkin head why don't we have more pumpkin head i should say i do enjoy the sequel it is more of a basic slasher but I really like it. On top of the fun creature design, we get a spooky witch in the woods and a foggy pumpkin patch where Pumpkinhead is buried. It might not be trying to be a Halloween movie, but it oozes Halloween vibes. I'm going to give Pumpkinhead a 3.5 out of 5. It has moments where it's a bit schlocky, and while I like the work done with the characters, I do wish they were fleshed out a little more. Overall, I think Pumpkinhead is a very well-made and enjoyable horror film that's perfect for the Halloween season. What did you guys think of Pumpkinhead? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really greatly appreciate it. All the support you guys have been throwing my channel this month has truly just been more than I could ask for. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to come back tomorrow for the final night, the 13th night of the 13 nights of Halloween. I'm very excited, not just to be done, but to talk about what I think is the most Halloween-y movie 
that exists. And I'm really looking forward to that. Thank you guys once again. Feel free to follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hit that bell. But also turn on your notifications. That way you don't miss any creepy content. Because I'm just over here spamming your guys' streams just day after day. That's it for this video. Don't worry, but I won't stop you from watching another.